I got another package in the mail today. Should be something cool. Let's see what it is. And there it is. This is a PNY branded NVIDIA GeForce GT730 video card. An anonymous viewer sent this to me. And this came at sort of a comical time when I just bought the GT710 video card for my main desktop computer. Yeah, this viewer who wants to remain anonymous contacted me on my Facebook page, The Maritime Girl, which you should definitely follow if you want to. And he's like, hey, I have this video card I'm not using anymore. Do you want it? And I'm like, for how much? And he's like, for free. And I'm like, sure, I'll take a video card for free. Um, so yeah, I didn't even pay shipping. He, he just sent this to me of his own accord. And I really appreciate that. A very generous gift. But yeah, I'm very excited to, um, to get this thing because, um, well, it's a GT730. It should be better than the GT710. So this, depending on if, you know, assuming it works fine and depending on how it tests, this may replace the GT710 as the new video card in my main desktop computer. And then I've got a GT710 that I just bought that I've got to do something with. But, uh... If this does replace the 710, I do have a plan for the 710. As you can see, it's, well, first of all, it's a low profile card. It's a very tiny card, and the connector on it doesn't even expand the full length of the uh, PCI Express slot. I think this is an X4 or an X8 length PCI Express connector. And also, it's got the low profile um, bracket here. So you've got DVI and HDMI and then the VGA is just on a cable here um, I might be able to shoehorn another connector that I already have onto here maybe the one from the GT710 will fit on here if not I can probably buy one online so yeah um, really cool to get this and as you can see it's got quite the fan on it and it spins very nice and it feels smooth when it spins so hopefully not too noisy but yeah, we're going to grab the uh, the old Optiplex 780 from over there. And we'll plug this in and we'll try it out. Now I'm very interested. I'm not 100% certain that this card will actually end up being better than the 710. And the reason is because there were a few different versions of the GT730 made. And some of them are far better than the others. In fact, the lower end versions of the GT730 were so crippled by their design that the GT710 may actually be faster if this is one of those lower end versions, but hopefully it's not. So the versions of these made, some of them had one gig of RAM and some of them had two gigs of RAM. This is a two gig model, so that's nice. Some of them used GDDR3 memory, some of them used GDDR5. This is a GDDR3 model. But the GT710 I currently have is also GDDR3, so no worries there. But then the biggest difference is, is that there were two versions of these with a different number of CUDA cores. You may remember I talked about CUDA cores in the video where I installed the GT710. And basically CUDA cores are just sort of a metric by which the GPU can perform general processing tasks. And... Um, your high-end video cards like the GTX 1080 Ti have like 2,000 CUDA cores or something like that. And my GT710 has 192 CUDA cores. It's a great card for that. Um, I've been running Folding at Home recently. Folding at Home supports the card. It's the first time I've been able to run Folding at Home um, that has GPU support. Um, actually, I, I used to run it on the... Uh, ThinkPad X130, and it actually supported the Radeon HD 6320 graphics on the ThinkPad X130, and so that could do GPU rendering, but it supports the GT710, and so I've been running folding at home, and the GT710 just kicks butt at, at folding because of, you know, those 192 CUDA cores. It, it does really good. I get about 5,000 points a day. Um, about 500 through the CPU and then about 4500 through GPU. So yeah, really, really nice. But the GT730 has two versions with two different 
num uh, with different numbers of CUDA cores. The higher end version, which this hopefully is, has I think 380 some CUDA cores, but the lower end version has just 96 CUDA cores. Just 96, whereas the GT710 has 192. So yeah, if this is, ends up being the version with just 96 CUDA cores, it may end up being slower than the GT710. But we'll find out. We'll install this card, um, we'll run the benchmarks, and we'll just see how it does. We'll run um, Passmark Performance Test, and we'll run Folding at Home and see um, what the number of points it says I will get is. Something else that concerns me is that this card is, of course, a bit higher powered than the GT710. GT710 only uses 19 watts of power, which is actually the same as the card that it replaced, the Radeon HD5450. This card wants, I think, 39 watts of power. So I'm a little concerned because the power supply in the Optiplex 780 is only uh, 200... 50, 300 watts, I always forget, I never remember. So, I don't think it's, I actually measured it once, I actually plugged the computer into the kilowatt meter, and um, I ran, uh, I think I ran Prime 95, and it only used like 110 watts, and that was from the wall, so the power supply would have only been outputting if we assume 80% efficiency, which is probably worse than that. Um, but if we assume a, a bad case and say it's 80% efficient, then that would have meant the thing's only outputting, what, 85, 90 watts. So based on that metric, the power supply is not being taxed at all. So an extra 20 watts should be no issue for it, hopefully. So let me get out the computer, shut it down, bring it out, and we'll put this in, try it out. All right, the... Uh GT710 is out, heat sink quite warm because it was folding right before I shut the computer down. And lo and behold, the full length bracket fits perfectly on the GT730. And they even used the same cable for the VGA connector, so awesome. I've been still having an issue with this computer where if I have to reach around and like plug a firewire cable into the firewire card or or unplug a monitor cable or whatever, I get the blue screen of death when I start fiddling around the back of the computer. So I think one of these cards is still either the video card or the firewire card or the network adapter. One of these cards is not making a good connection and when I fiddle around there it um, causes a blue screen of death. So I've reseeded the cards again. Um, I don't know what would, why they would not have a good connection. I've very rarely ever seen that in computer expansion cards, but anyway, I reseeded them. Hopefully, there won't be any more issues. And uh, this thing's ready to go in, so I will put this card in. We'll hook the computer back up and see how it works. Hmm, looking at it again, that is a curious amount of oxidation on the connector of the FireWire card. So I think I'll actually go a step further and give this particular card a good clean. I'll take some alcohol and a Q-tip and just clean that connector up and maybe that'll fix our issue. Alright, let's give it a shot. I hear the fan, but it's pretty quiet. Okay, card is working. Once the CPU fan quiets down, the GPU fan is audible, but it's not rattly at all. It's it's very um, it, it's very pleasant sounding, not loud and not rattly or anything. So it's all set up. It found the drivers and everything. No issues there, working just fine. Except I don't have my second monitor. It doesn't even see my second monitor. Um, and when I go into the NVIDIA control panel, which it installed, um, that doesn't see my second monitor. So, and then my second monitor is definitely plugged in and turned on. So I'm going to have to shut this thing down, pull it out again. Um, I'll check and make sure the VGA connector is um, plugged in. 
um, and if everything looks fine then what I'll do is I'll switch the VGA dongle out for the one that came on the card because I'm currently using the one that came on the GT710. They have similar part numbers but maybe they're still different, I don't know, but that's what I'll try. Alright, take two. Um, other VGA breakout cable is installed. The two cables do have identical part numbers on them, so this theoretically shouldn't solve the problem, but I'm going to try it anyway. If it doesn't solve the problem, I'm not sure what's going to help. But we'll give it a try. I'm getting nothing. No video output. Oh, uh, we have a blank image on this monitor and no activity on this monitor. Okay, so it turns out I actually had to turn this monitor off and back on and then it showed a picture and the blank screen was actually a valid image. So both monitors are working now. Sweet. So let me log on and then we'll come back. Well, it looks like both monitors are working now, so it looks like that I had to change to the other cable, even though the cables are identical with identical model numbers, so that's very strange. Um, so it looks like they might not actually be the same cable, despite that NVIDIA labels them as much, but if it works, it works, and it seems to be working just fine. And uh, here we can see the two gigs of video memory, very very nice. And I've got Passmark Performance Test open here. It's running the intro animation about as fast as the GT710 did. But anyway, I'll uh, let it go and um, we'll come back when the marks are in. The results are in and it's looking good. Um, Compared to the GT710, the main score has gone up a little bit from 1391 to 1405. CPU mark stayed about the same. 2D graphics actually went down a bit from 367 to 345. Uh, 3D graphics, however, went up quite a bit from 494 to 526. Memory stayed the same, and disk actually went up a bit from 830 to uh, 879 you can see here so 3d graphics went up quite a bit that's awesome 2d graphics going down that's a little bit um, interesting and I ran the test three times to make sure the results were consistent and they were um, but yeah other than the 2d graphics going down a little bit that looks really good I like that increased 3d graphics mark so I figure the next thing we'll do is run folding at home and we'll see how many points per day it says that I'll have now. So let me get folding at home open and then we'll come back. Aha! I opened NVIDIA control panel, go to system information. We do have the better version of the card with 384 CUDA cores. Really, really nice. Another metric I just remembered or was reminded of here. Um, it has the slower 64-bit memory interface. Um, other versions of the card have a faster 128-bit memory interface, but it's no issue to me. The GT710 also has a 64-bit memory interface. But yeah, really great to see that 384 CUDA cores. I imagine if it was the 96 um, core version, we probably wouldn't have seen an improvement um, in the 3D graphics. In fact, it might have been a lot slower. Oh, heck yeah. Looking at folding at home. We're getting over 7,000 points per day. So now what I'm interested in is, can it render video any quicker? I'm going to hazard a guess and say no. It occurred to me back when I made the video of the GT710 uh, that it turns out I didn't actually have CUDA rendering enabled in Sony Vegas. There's a special key combination you have to press when you open the preferences and it enables some it, it enables more settings, one of which is to enable CUDA rendering, which for some reason is disabled by default, I guess. So I enabled it, but it made it no faster, not even by a second. And uh, Jack actually told me, he said, CUDA rendering in Sony Vegas um, just doesn't actually work. So I'm not 
um, betting on it being any faster. Shout out to Chloe on Twitter who suggested that I switch to Adobe Premiere Pro, um, which apparently just works a lot better for that and perhaps a lot better than Sony Vegas in general, but I've been married to Sony Vegas for eight years now and so it's not worth the bother to change and relearn my entire process that I've been perfecting over the last eight years. So I've got one minute of video queued up and we'll see how fast it renders. Now on the GT710 it took four minutes to render one minute of video. So we'll see if this is any faster. Well our render is finished and yeah it ended up being just as fast. So yeah, it looks like rendering speed in Sony Vegas is a function totally of the CPU speed, so... Oh well, um, this thing has all the CPU speed it's ever going to get. It's running the second fastest CPU that you can get for one of these. Um, so the only way I'm ever going to significantly speed up my rendering would be if I were to get a, um, get a whole other computer. So, oh well, whatever, good enough for me. And finally, how about a little bit of a game test with Kerbal Space Program. I got a space shuttle ready to launch here. See how that works. Well, it seems to be about as good, maybe even a little bit better. Huh, looks good to me. Well, that is about all there is to show of the NVIDIA GeForce GT730 video card for the Dell Optiplex 780 donated to me by a random anonymous viewer. Um, and to that viewer, if you're watching, thank you very much for your donation. That's It really is generous. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure why I deserved such generosity. I, I guess I've cultivated a generous viewing audience and perhaps I should take some inspiration um, from my viewing audience and sort of instill that into myself more. Um, but yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Um, it was really fun to get it running and see how much better it was than the uh, GT710 here and since it is better um, I will be keeping it in this computer so yeah thank you for the upgrade um, it really is appreciated so now the question re remains what am I gonna do with the GT710 which I literally just bought like less than two months ago well I do have a plan for this card right here is the Acer Aspire E380 my Windows XP machine. I've been wanting to also fold with this thing because it'll contribute to my score. I fold on the uh, YouTube um, folding at home team uh, team 79621 and out of the I think there's like 300 people on that folding team, I've worked my way up to 18th place so far, just with this computer. Um, and the last time I folded in the earlier part of this decade, I had made it up to like 40th or 50th place or something like that. So this computer has really gotten me far with folding, especially with this card, which is just a beast with folding. But I figure why not double my efforts, have this thing folding too help keep the place warm at night and it could add another few thousand points onto my daily score so I'm thinking I know folding at home supports this card why not put this card to work in this computer and uh, maybe it'll end up uh, being able to fold and then I can have like what 12,000 points per day folding that would be pretty sweet 